What's up, Rangers? Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today <laughs> we're going to go over, since G-Fest is coming up, the figures that I am looking for most while I'm at the convention. Sorry, you guys. I won't go. I just got the house, so... He got the house, so he won't be there. But I'm ordering the prints as of today as we're recording this video. I'll be ordering them later. When they come in, he'll be signing them. I'll have done. So no. don't worry about that. <laughs> Probably when they come in, I'll show you what the prints actually look like in hand. Yeah, they're a lot bigger than you think they might be, actually. Yeah, they're going to be 11 by 17. And if they go good, i got to order the special one order. Yeah, because there was somebody who was complaining. They were saying, like, that we were going to make, like, small prints and, you know, charge $10 for them. And they were, like, talking about, like, you know, three by sixes. Oh, no. It's, like, it's a decent size. Cause they're pretty much, like, what you get at a convention. Like, most conventions I go to, that's actually pretty cheap for a single print. Because usually they're, like, 15 a print. So I was, like, and they're usually doing, like, three for 10. So I'm, like, I'll just do them for 10. Because it's like, I definitely don't want to take any home. <laughs> so, temp like for the most part. Like, I have so to make sure you hunt them down, you guys. Yeah, definitely do so while you're at the convention. Steve is shy, too, by the way. So, Well, I hope I don't have to go up to people and be like, hey, buy the print, <laughs> please. Uh, if that's the case, I will take them home gladly. We'll do a giveaway. What my list is going to contain is 10 things. Not all of them are single items. They're kind of like some of them are just like brackets in general. Like if they're these things, I will grab them. But uh, there, number one is the one in particular I'll be going for. Uh, two through nine or two through ten will be just figures like if I see them, I will definitely be very inclined to want to purchase them. The number one he's hunting down. But the number one is the one I am definitely looking for. For number ten. I will be looking for the Ultraman Orb uh, Bandai Vinyls. Uh, preferably the ones with the cards with them for the Orb Changer. You just want your cards, Steve. Just tell people you're looking for the cards, save yourself some money. Yeah, I mean, mainly, like, it's, <laughs> like, even, like, the card binders, I would grab two. <laughs> but preferably, like, I want the ones with the card. Like, I'd rather have the figure and the card. Because some of those are actually pretty sweet looking. Uh, especially some of the orb versions, because the only one I have is a uh, Thunder Beaster. Thunder Beaster. Thunder Beaster. <laughs> uh, so some of the other ones would be nice to pick up, but those ones I'm not as inclined to grab since they're actually making some more of the Ultraman orb ones for SH Figure Arts. Uh, but yeah, I'd definitely be very inclined to pick up those. Um, some more vinyls for number nine would be, in particular, these ones. I wouldn't mind getting the... Uh, Bandai Vinyl of the Grand Ghidorah from Mothra 3. Because it's the only Mothra Heisei villain that I'm missing. I have Dagara, I have Death Ghidorah, and a Grand Ghidorah. So God, if you get it like, with everything. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on the top. Up top I think he's like a little over 100 Oh, for that one. Well, it's like the next one for number 8, which is Kaiser Ghidorah, the Bandai Vinyl version. A lot of people have been asking me to get the X Plus version, <laughs> but like X Plus is like I've explained it before on here, anyways. Like a lot of people ask me on the review channel, that one I haven't. I don't know if I did as well, but for X Pluses, I only want like specific suits or versions of the kaiju's from the films, because it's not like I need like every single one of them, for sir. Because like preferably, I'd rather actually get Bandai vinyls, which is why I want the Kaiser Ghidorah of that one because I'm missing it. And the x version, like, it's cool, but I just don't need it, and it takes up way too much space. While the Bandai Vinyl, not so much. And it kind of goes with the aesthetics of most of my other Bandai Vinyls anyway, but so... look at all these big turtles that you don't need. They take up a lot of space, too. But their turtles are different. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. Because they're better. They're not, they're not three-headed. They're not better. Three heads well, when Leo comes in, I'll have three. As of right now, they're failing. <laughs> I'll have two over there. Sorry. I love those Neko ones. They're so good. Uh, numbers? Seven. Seven? Yes. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Yep, we are on seven. Yeah, he can count them backwards, you guys. Yay! Yay! Shh. <laughs> but yeah, all right. So next for some Revolt Tech figures... I will be looking for the Heisei Gameras in general. Also, Gauss. I wouldn't mind a Gauss. I was going to say, you need Gauss. Well, sorry. I need the Gauss from the Heisei. I have a, the 
1967 Gauss. Um, I know they said that they were going to be reissuing some of them. It's taking a while. And I'm kind of concerned that they might not. Because uh, we're also supposed to get Gamera 3 Revolt Dice. Well, that's just it, Steve. The price is going to go keep going up and up and up. And you're going to get worried, so you're going to pay like the high price for it. And then they're going to reach you and it's going to go That's not true. With Godzilla 2000, the Monster Arts version, I got it before it got to stupid. Like, some place had it, like, marked up a little bit. And I was like, I don't know if I want to pay it that much. And then I seen on eBay and, you know, like, Amazon, I was like, already up to 200 And I'm like, I guess I'll I'm getting it. Because <laughs> they wanted, like, 25 extra bucks for it. I'm like, mm, you, you won. Here you go. Take my money. Huh. But, yeah. So, I wouldn't mind. Particularly, I need Gamera 2, the 96 version. Is the one I need. Oh, so you're not losing out a lot. No, well, he's like... I want to say if I pay over 40 bucks, I'm probably losing out on that. Really? He's that cheap? Yeah, well, like, I remember... I seen him for, like, 50, and I kind of passed on him. But then I... Because at that, that time, I seen him for, like... I could get him reasonably for, like, 30 bucks. Now he's probably... Now he's, cheap. like, he still hovers in that region. Steve, did you see how much our Mia went up? God, I'm making a killing on mine because it's not open. Yeah. Why do I always have to be the guinea pig? <laughs> Granted, I would have opened it anyways, but why do I have to be the guinea pig? Oh, God, like, the prices are stupid. They're, like, sold out in stores, like, online stores now. So, like, the price shot out by, like, another 50 bucks on an unopened one. Like, 30 on a used one. I'm like, but it was already at, like, $300. Well, did you see, like, my Figma uh, Midoriya is already, like, at 100 I know. <laughs> like, it was like, it just came out, and it's sold out everywhere. People, if you really want a Figma figure, get it right away. I don't know why the Figmas will go up in price. and It's, it's pretty much, if it wasn't reissued, and it's from a popular series, just buy it. Just pre- oh, sorry, just pre-order it. It's like Monstarts. If it's a new mold, you're better off pre-ordering it for the most part. Yeah, I found Sinone from Sword Art Online, and I almost bought it, and she was like, 13 14 dollars over the original price and it was used but yeah all right we're getting off track uh for number six another revolt tech figure that i sorely really want now especially since i have three of them already like i have the three main ones that i wanted because i really wanted the rodan in particular you need mothra is the mothra ha <laughs> Everybody wants me to get Angris, but I'm like, I'm not paying 150 for an Angris. Or if you find one for like 50 bucks. Well, yeah, like I'm. It's one of those like, if I'm Miami, it's I'm pre-owned in. <laughs> Shut up, it's to coming take my home. <laughs> but uh, same with the Mothra. It's kind of what I'm holding out there too. Well, I can I can get her like 60, 70 ish still. Yeah, that's not bad. But for Revolt Egg, though, that's uh, that is a lot for Revolt Egg. Because, like, they're nice figures, but I don't put them in the same category as, say, like, for the max, like, Robot Spirits. is definitely above a roll, roll tech. Same with, like, Monster Arts is way better than those guys. The other thing that's really cool about those guys is they come with accessories, and I kind of like their aesthetics. Like, especially the show ones, they really have the show a charm. Which is nice. Like, even compared to the 64 Monster Arts, I almost possibly say the revolt are better in that regards steve you keep talking about revolt act like damn woody won't get you <laughs> or blue like revolt oh. <laughs> god don't god, don't buy geez. it you guys just pay the, the 50 bucks yeah, just pay the action show it, like i've seen him on like he, the real one shows up on amiami once in a while see what they had the shin godzillas on there too yeah i seen that and they even like, have the, the second or third form for not crazy for what they go for now well, they, were, they had the Shin Godzilla one, and he was like 3% off the original price. And I'm like, why is this still here? Why hasn't anybody Yeah, well, it's like it? it has a loose joint. I'm like, just nail polish, solves everything, order yeah. it. Well, it's like if box. You really want one. Box was A, and figure was B. And it was 3% off the original price. And it was still on there. I backed out, switched pages, it was gone. <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> You gotta be fast about those things, man. But yeah, the reason I want the Mothra in particular is because of the Monster Arts 64. That's ugly. I think it would look really good next to that one. And he scales pretty decently with those. The Mothra is ugly. I've seen that for Revolt Tech one. It's hideous like me. Uh... Well, it, just, it looks like the show. It even comes with the uh, the Vent Tower and everything. It looks like Mo- Mogira. Oh. <laughs> I haven't even opened We haven't opened that one yet. Getting to it. 
get into it. So next for number five, we'll move into the monster arts territory. No, since we went no. uh, to do went past Revolt Tech because there's only two monster arts figures that I'm in particularly looking for, and one of those not even a figure; it's a set. Because for number five, I I seen it last year and I didn't grab it. Probably should have. But I got the Garuda, so it's kind of why I've skipped out on it. Garuda set piece. But he also had the super weapon effects pieces. Oh, okay. I know what you you should have. Which is the one that comes with the Super X2. And the only reason I want it is because it comes with Super X2. It's like this tiny little thing. God, that thing is hideous. And it goes for like $100. It's hideous. Why would you it comes want with that? some other vehicles and stuff, but I just want that vehicle. And it's, it's so hard for me to pull the gun on that. Because even last year, I'm like... Uh, set it back on the shelf. But... <laughs> this year, I would be way more inclined to pick it up. If I seen it, just to finish off my set that I need. Because I don't need the reissues, but... I don't understand why you want that so bad. Go, the go Biolante. But, yeah, so I need that one. And the one I need in particular... But he's expensive for number four is the Heavy Arms Kiryu for Monster Arts. For number four, I really want the Kiryu because it's actually kind of a re- not like a re-release of the first Kiryu. But it comes with more stuff and they changed the coloring so that it would match the second film. And he has like the drill hand and stuff. So I mainly want it just so I could have like that version of the Kaiju from that film. It would be amazing. He'll go with Guy again. You'll have a guy with a chainsaw hands and drill hands. Yeah, well, that and my my original Kiryu is actually autographed, so I leave him in the box. Okay, I know. So I kind of want one that I want to yeah. keep out of the package. But that's just it, Steve. You'll you'll buy it at G-Fest, and you'll have somebody sign it at G-Fest, and you won't open this one. Well, the guy that could have signed it was at that G-Fest. <laughs> I would have just got them both signed. All right, so for number three, and I almost ordered this one online because I seen one for... A price that I would pay for it. But I'm waiting to see how my statue's coming in first before I jump on it because they got quite a few. Then, if I see oh, a G from Fest website from Mandrake, I finally ordered something from Mandrake. I want the Large Monster Series Godzilla 1989. It's a horrible year. Because they actually just released, re released a 30 centimeter, the Yuji Sakai. Would he even go with Biolante? The Large Monster Series one is made to go with Biolante. Oh, that's why you want it. Oh, that's it why I want sense. it. It makes sense. It's the 25 centimeter of Godzilla. Oh. The 30 centimeter is too big. Even though I like the, I like how it looks better. Because to be honest, like the one thing about it, like from what I've seen, I'm not as big of a fan of it. I mainly just want it just so it could go with Biolante though. But for number two, another X Plus figure. This one's a lot more recent. And it's one of those like, I almost wasn't even going to put it on the list because I kind of want the uh, gigantic version of this one. So I don't know if I really need the stand one. And I almost would rather have the Rick. It's it sound it, expansive. It's <laughs> iffy, but most people say that the standard one's better. So I'll go with the standard one if I see it. I'll, yeah, I'll get the standard one. It's Shin Godzilla, the 30 centimeter X plus. But it would be nice to have like one solid, really awesome looking piece. Because I do love the the design for him. It just sits there. It just sits there. It just has to sit there. It looks so good. But yeah, so that would be a really cool one to get. And then for number one is the one I am looking for the most. Can you guess? If I see this, I will snap by it. It is like every year there's that one figure I will snap by. Because last year was Garuda. Which I didn't even look around the room. Somebody had it. I bought it. Funny thing is, same seller. First year, that I, the first year I went back, the one I was looking for, Burning Godzilla, exact same thing. It was like one, I think it was 130. And uh, I just seen it on the shelf. Somebody was also looking at it. I'm like, how much you want for it? He's like 130. I'm like, here you go. The other guy just kind of looked at me. I'm like, I'm taking it right now. I'm sorry. You're taking too long, man. You're taking too long, man. I'll, I'll just take it right now. I honestly have no idea. I'm looking for Belial. Ultra Act Belial. I'm looking for the evil Ultraman. They made figures of him? like They do have one. Him with those giant claws, his sick look, and he actually ties into the new TV show coming out. Zed. They only made one. He's got to be pretty pricey. 
for an Ultra Act, he's pretty expensive. I think, like, on average, he's, like, 150 I don't know. How big is it? You can see my Ultra Axe. He's, like, he's, like, almost NECA-sized. Like, he'd probably stand up pretty good next to the Kaijus there. Oh, and you pay $150 for that? Yeah. Um, I think there's a version of him with a cape. With the, the mantle. I don't like. I would hope he wouldn't be that much there, but like, if I seen it, I don't think I would second guess it because it's one of the only other Ultrax I really want. It hurts me sitting next to this guy, listening to what he's willing to pay for these things, man. Because the only other thing I'm in well, in need of is another grid man, and I would buy it and leave it in the box. I, like, I, I if I seen all of them, I wouldn't be able to get all of them. Is the problem? I was about to say that. There's no <laughs> way. <laughs> No, it'd be like primarily I would maybe get a couple and some random stuff, but because I also like I'll be looking for prints there because I usually get like Mac Franks and John Belgatti Juniors. I usually try to get at least a few from each of them, and then whatever like tickles my fancy walking around. Gabra, you have to find anything, Gabra. We'll we'll talk about this off camera, but I'll give you the money. <laughs> Alrighty, but yeah, that's my G Fest list. So the one in particular I'll be looking for is the Ultra Act Isle. Steve will be taking my list with him, so. And Can yeah. you guess what my list is, Steve? Don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What year they had a Kreitz from Critters? Really? <laughs> yeah, I was like, huh, I almost won. <laughs> like, that close. I almost got one on eBay the longest time ago. So I actually oh, love technically those they're videos. monsters. They go with the aesthetic. Like, down here anyways, they go. Like, I actually have room for it now, so now would be a time I would maybe get it. Since I have my own house now. But yeah, so that's my that is what I'll be looking for at the convention. But yeah, again, if you guys see me at the convention, uh, definitely say hi. Again, like he says, I'm in person. I'm actually pretty shy and awkward. Yeah, he is. Like since he, uh, since I'm with him, it's a lot easier. I have to beat him in the doing stuff. Well, I have to him. beat you in the doing stuff. Like, hey, you want to go see a movie? Oh yeah, sure. The, like the next day. Well, <laughs> at that point in time when you asked me, I was ready. He was ready to go. It's like we need to leave now. But yeah, so once I sit down, yeah, it's, I ain't going nowhere. You guys, I'm relaxed. But yeah, like I'm still definitely say hi though. I'll, I'll try to make it work. <laughs> but yeah, I'll also have prints on me too. So if you guys are interested in a print, they will be ten dollars. Uh, hope you saw the image on your computer so you can show people what it was. Yeah. Okay, because I deleted off your SD card. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. But uh, I will have those available for $10. And if you're one of the first five people, you'll get a free print to go along with it. And you got to call him a Steve. A you, Steve. You can call me A Steve. It's better than Steve the Bitch like most everybody else calls me. Ah, uh, yeah. I remember that. We had to switch it. We had Good to make times. it child friendly. So it's just A Steve. Which also just... No, that's Steve. just what my name became. Steve the Bitch. <laughs> it was just insinuated when you said steve <sighs> and people wonder why i don't try <laughs> i don't talk to anybody <laughs> well yeah help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button subscribe to criminal ranger today see you guys in the next video bye bye, -bye.